Hi friends, are you interested in learning about the programming features and its types and its specification and its wiring diagram? Also, you will learn the wiring diagram with the programmable logic controllers. Let's watch this video together completely. I am Maruti. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Electrical and Instrumentation Engineering. On the screen, we are seeing the device which is called a proximity switch. In this video, we will learn what is the proximity switch and how to connect this proximity switch with the programmable logic controllers. As mentioned in the screen, a proximity switch is a type of sensor that can detect the presence of an object without needing to touch it. Here, the object is present nearby the proximity switch, so without needing to touch, the proximity switch has sensed this object and given the indication light and given the signal to programmable logics that should understand how it gives signal to programmable logic controllers. Types of proximity switches there are two types of proximity switches present in the market. That's inductive type proximity switch and capacitive type proximity switch. Here we are seeing two types of proximity switches on the screen. First one is the inductive type proximity switch and second one is the capacitive type proximity switch. Both looks like the same, physical appearance will be the same, but internal working principle will be the different. Here the internal working principle I have shown you of the inductive proximity switch and here capacitive proximity switch. Inductive proximity switch detects only metallic objects and capacitive proximity type switch detects both metallic and non-metallic objects. Let's understand the working principle. Once the once power supply is received by the uh, inductive proximity switch, then there will be oscillator. The oscillator gives signal to the coil inside the inductive proximity switch. This coil produces the electromagnetic field around it. When any metal comes nearby the, that coil, the current flows in the uh, coil will be changes. This will be detected by the sensor and the sensor will give output and the output we will receive it to the PLC and uh, we can indicate it as a metal is detected nearby the proximity switch. In capacitor type proximity switch, the working principle will be a little bit different. It consists of a two di dielectric plates. One, the signal is received from the field, the, it, uh, it detects the signal and send it to the oscillator. The oscillator will charge the both the plates. One, one plate is charged by the positive terminals and the second plate is charged by the negative negative electrons. Then there will be air between the uh, air between the these two plates. This will be act as a dielectric medium. When we bring any object like glass of water or metal or any object which strength is less than the uh, dielectric uh, of the air, then the the dielectric between these two plates will be uh, changed and these two plates will become shorted. And this shot will change the current which will be detected by the sensor and it will give output to the PLC. In this type, the indu uh, inductive proximity switch and capacitive proximity switches are works. Let's understand connection of two-way proximity switch with the PLC. First, we will understand the uh, specification of this proximity switch. This is the two-way proximity switch. It consists of a two-way, brown wire and blue wire. And the supply can be applied to this proximity switch is 220 to 250 volt AC. Means we can apply 20 volts to 250 volt AC range. Any voltage can be applied here. In this field, we have applied 110 volt DC. Then the sensing distance is 8 mm plus or minus 10 percent. Here, from the board, from the front plate, the sensing can be detected up to 8 mm or plus or minus 10 mm. And the type of your proximity switch is capacitive. And the load is 400 milliam. It can be connected up to the load 400 milliams. Here we have connected to the relay. Then we will understand the wiring part. It consists of a two wires. See here, brown wire is connected by a face and the blue wire is written in the face. And it, both are connected to the uh, relay board. Here, 110 volt is relay board. This coil consists of 110 volt DC. Here is the potential free contact. This is the common contact, normally open, uh, normally closed. Here, black color is a normally contact. Green color is a normally open. And uh, the red color is a normally closed. Okay. Then we have a PLC processor and it is connected with the four channel digital input model. It consists of a four channel, channel number 1, 2, 3 and 4. To turn on the PLC processor and four channel digital input model, we have to connect 24 volt DC to the processor and digital input model. The 24 volt DC is connected to the PLC processor. And from there, we have tapped it to the four channel uh, digital input model, the 24 volt DC. And the same 24 volt DC, we have extended it to the common terminal of the relay. Once the relay has picked up, then the common terminal of the 24 volt DC will return from the NO contact to the channel number 1. And let's understand after touching the metal or any object to this uh, uh, proximity switch. Let's learn the communication. The communication is connected to the SCADA system, supervisory control and data acquisition system. 
through Ethernet cable. The system, uh, the SCADA system has a screen, the object detected or not. Now, the object has not detected because we have not received signal to the uh, the, uh, channel number one. Hence, the object is not detected. Let's touch the, let's bring the object near by this proximity switch and let's see how it works. Now, we have brought the object near with the proximity switch and the indication light is on and 110 volt AC is written through blue wire to the uh, uh, relay. Once the relay got the 110 volt AC phase and neutral, the relay will be turned on. So after turning the relay, the 24 volt AC we have received at the common terminal, it has changed to NO contact to NC contact. Hence, this contact has become normally closed and the 24 volt AC has passed through normally closed contact to the 4 channel digital input model. Here we received the 24 volt AC and pre-LC processor has sensed this plus signal and it will send signal to the SCADA system and whether the object detected or not. Here the object detected is come. Yes, this is how the two wire proximity switches wiring works. How two wire proximity switches works without neutral? Let's understand the principle. Here we have connected a neutral to the coil, uh, coil terminal. So when proximity switch is in turned off condition, the neutral will flow to the proximity switches through this coil. So through this coil, the neutral is passed through uh, proximity switches and phase is received by the proximity switch. If the coil gets failed at that time, the proximity switch will not work only by the phase. The proximity switch has to receive 110 volt DC, also the neutral, when the coil has a good condition. Then only this proximity switch works. Now, let's understand the connection of the three wire proximity switch PNP type with the PLC. The, it is a proximity switch and it is a three, it consists of a three wire. This is a three wire proximity switch. This is a brown wire, black wire and the blue wire. The supply is a 20 to 250 volt AC can be applied and the sensing distance is 8 mm and then this is a capacity type and this is a normally open. When the object is detected then it will be changed to normally closed. Initially it will be normally open and the load is connected, maximum load can be connected to this proximity switch is a 400 milliamp. In brown wire we will apply 110 volt AC and in the blue wire we have applied neutral. So neutral and 110 volt is continuously applied to the proximity switch so that we can ensure the proximity switch is in on condition. So after that black wire, uh, through black wire, when object detects, through black wire, it will send signal, the positive signal, this is the PNP type. So positive signal is returned to the 110 volt AC relay. Once it receives 110 volt AC, then that contacts will be changed over and the signal will pass to PLC and PLC will give signal to the SCADA screen. Now, the object has not detected nearby the proximity switch, hence the SCADA screen and PLC indicate that object has not detected, object detected or not, it is mentioned as no. Now, we brought the object to nearby the proximity switch. The proximity switch has detected the object and given the indication lamp. 110 volt is applied to the proximity switch and is returned through black wire to the 110 volt AC coil, the relay. The relay has turned on because it has received the 110 volt AC phase and neutral is already applied. The contact change status has been changed. This has changed to here. NO contact has become NC and NC contact become as NO. The common point was already receiving 24 volt AC, hence this contact is become NC, NO to NC. The signal will pass through this contact, 24 volt AC, and it will give the signal to the channel number 1 of the digital input model. The PLC processor has sensed this channel number 1 signal, and it will give indication to the SCADA system. The object has detected yes. In the previous case, we have seen that 2 wire system, if the coil gets failed, at that time proximity switch will not work. The advantage of the 3 wire proximity switch, we have supplied, uh, uh, separately applied 110 volt DC and neutral. If the coil breaks down also, the proximity switch will work and give signal through black wire. But it will not give to go to relay. It can, if the uh, cable has broken, it will come up to the cable end. Here also we are learning about the three wire proximity switch PNP type. Here is a differently uh, uh, explained because last time we have seen the normally open type. This is the normally closed type. What happened normally closed type? When 110 volt DC positive or neutral is applied, the, it is continuously sending signal through black wire to the relay because it is normally closed. When the object is detected, it will become normally open. In this type of proximity switch, how we connect the wiring diagram with the PLC? Let's understand by sending the object near to the proximity switch. Once we bring the object near with the proximity switch, the proximity switch should detect the object and it will give a signal. So 110 volt AC is receiving as it is a normally closed. Before the uh, before bringing the object near by the proximity switch, it was sending the signal through black wire to the coil. But here it will cut off the signal and the, the status of the proximity switch changed to normally open 
when object is detected at that time it will cut off the signal which is going to the coil hence the coil will get up, get turned off when the object is detected after turning off the coil the contact status will become changer are normal so common supply is applied 24 hours is applied to the common terminal and return to through nc contact in normally open contact we have connected the cable through no contact and here we have connected the cable through nc contact and the nc contact will send signal to the channel number one of the digital input model and plc processor communicate with the scada the object detected or not that object detected will be yes uh, yes this in this configuration we will connect the cables from the proximity switch to plc to detect the ob any object now we will learn the connection of the three wire proximity switch that is npn type so let's understand by watching this video you can understand the difference between pnp type npn type proximity switch and how to connect with the plc see here it is the proximity switch and the specification i have provided is a three wire proximity switch as it consists of a brown wire black wire and the blue wire and the supply can be applied to 20 to 250 volt dc and the sensing distance will be 8 mm and it's a capacitive type and normally open so what uh, uh, what in the case when object is detected, the NPN proximity switch works. Let's understand when the object is detected, 110 volt DC is applied and neutral is applied continuously. When the object is uh, detected, instead of the phase returning through black wire, the neutral will return through black wire. Hence, the black wire connected here is to directly to neutral, not the phase. In case of PNP type, the 110 volt DC will return through black wire to the uh, terminal of the phase. But here, phase is applied continuously to the coil terminal. The neutral will return through the black wire and it is connected to the another terminal of the coil. Let's understand by bringing the object near by the proximity switch. Here we have brought the object near to the proximity switch. The proximity switch sensed at the object and it has given the indication lamp. See here the phase and neutral has already applied. After bringing the object to the nearby the normally open contact will be changed to normally close. The neutral will be written through this black wire. So the neutral will be written to black wire to the coil terminal. Now the coil was receiving a phase and now the coil is receiving neutral also from proximity switch. The coil status has changed. The NO contact has become changed to NC contact. The common terminal receiving 24 volt DC return through NC contact to the channel number one of the digital input model and it is detected by the PLC processor and send signal to the SCADA system. Now the object detected in the SCADA system will be the yes. This is the difference of PNP type and NPN type. PNP type, I am explaining once again. In PNP type, 110 volt DC will be returned to black wire. In NPN type, the network neutral will be written through black wire. Here, with a little change with the specification, we will learn again three phase proximity switch wiring NPN type with a normally closed. When object is not detected, the neutral uh, applied through the blue wire will be passed through black wire to the uh, relay, uh, relay terminal bone neutral terminal. So the relay is continuously on when the object is not presented uh, because this contact has become normally NC contact. When we bring object, the proximity switch changes status will be changed to normally open and the relay will be turned off and we will learn wiring diagram by bringing the object near to the proximity switch. Here, once again we brought the object to the nearby proximity switch and proximity switch has detected the object and given the indication lamp. The neutral was passing through this black wire, it will be cut off because the normally, it is a normally closed proximity switch, has, status has been changed to normally open. Hence, the neutral is not passing through the, uh, this black wire and the relay status will be turned off. So, by turning off the relay status, the change uh, contacts will be also be changed over. So, the no, uh, con uh, common point was receiving 24 volt DC will return to NC contact through NC contact to channel number of the digital input model. In normally open contact, we have connected this cable to the NO contact. But in normally closed, we have connected to the NC contact and the in the status of 110 volt is relay turned off, the common uh, the supply will be passed from common point to normally closed contact and it will flow up to the digital input model channel number 1. And the PLC processor has sensed this uh, signal and it will give uh, through Ethernet cable, it gives send signal to the SCADA system. The object detected or not, that the object has detected. In this type, we have learned the difference between the PNP type, NPN type, 2 wire, 3 wire proximity switches. If you have any queries, please comment me in the comment section. Thank you dear friends for watching this video. If you have any queries, please comment me in the comment section. If you are a student or working employee, if you have any queries related to the th th theoretical problems or any uh, help needed in the seminars project, please comment me in the comment section. I will contact you and I will try to help you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Keep learning and stay updated.